Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's Monday, and we're going to get back to uh, playing Heroes of Might and Magic 2. So let's jump right in. Oh, good. The game is on stream already, and I'm not even... I didn't even have to jump... I didn't even have to maximize it again. So, uh, yay! Uh, just sanity check that I... Did not forget to unmute the mic. So, a um, couple things. I played a little bit over the weekend, and I made some progress. Uh, I made some progress. Um, oh no, this is not what I want. Uh, yeah, so it took it took several attempts, but finally, because like, you know how uh, is this what I want? This looks more in line with what I want. So, I've been having some issues with. Oh, also, uh, let me turn that back on because the music is good. There we go. Um, so yeah. I've been having issues with Blue, right? Blue was coming down and just had a big army, and he killed me oh, a lot. So what I did was I I uh, didn't I didn't st I what I did was I, I went north much sooner than I normally did, and what I what I found when I came north were some elves in the reach in this swamp area, right? In the far reaches of this swamp area, right? There were some elves guarding this artifact, but it's not really an artifact that I like all that much, so I left it. And you also have to buy it. You have to pay gold for, and buy it from a leprechaun, so I don't like doing that. Sometimes, <clears throat> usually it's worth it, but this artifact I don't think is worth it. And so I found some elves, and I think the elves made me strong enough to the point where Blue was afraid to attack me. So he went down here, and I never saw him again. Blue and like, and then I conquered Blue's castle, and Blue is dead. So Blue is gone. Red is gone. It's only Green, who isn't. Oh yeah, Green's right here. Green's not very strong. In fact, he's about to kill my hero here. Um, but uh, it's okay, cause. Uh... Oh no! Wait, no. I'm going to kill him. Is this is the Aqua Tent, and this is oh the Aqua Barrier. Okay, so that's good. I can open that barrier. But yeah, so blue got himself eliminated, and it's just green and yellow, and yellow is Krager, and we all know Krager must die. I've been chasing him this entire campaign, but uh, I'm afraid that, like, Krager is, like, just lurking, and he's gonna crush me. But, um, so anyway, I can't reach green's hero just yet, so... And there's nothing here I can buy. Oh, I've got bone dragons too, so I'm doing much better than I than I normally do. All right. Uh, so yeah, I've caught you up. I blue and red have died. It's just green and yellow. And it's a new week. Huzzah! I lost a lot of the elves attacking Blue's castle, but, uh... Ow! Oh, you f Ugh. Coward. and then we get some resources. Scarab. I actually knew that. I forgot I knew that. Crystals. 
How strong is Green's hero down here? Few, few, several, several, several. She's not that strong. I'm going to learn di Diplomacy, because Diplomacy will allow me to visit Xanadu. The other skill that allows you to visit Xanadu is Leadership, but Necromancers can't learn Leadership because undead troops do not have morale. And so that is the other instance in which Diplomacy is, that is one context where Diplomacy is useful. Plus one to all my stats. So that's good. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, need some crystals. Because warlocks are the only other class besides necromancers that can learn necromancy, so I like that little bit of synergy. Uh, let's see. Go increase your knowledge. Oh, look, there's Green's Castle it's across the river. Uh, oh, yeah, go get this four mine.
Oh, 14 witches, I'm not bad. Oh shit. Who is this? It's green. Uh oh. Does he know the aqua barrier password? He might. Oh, he does! He does. Okay. Increases my spell power if green attacks me. So I'll leave the pikemen here and go get these archers in the meantime. Oh my god! Okay, uh... I need to desperately... Oh, that's so much better, okay. Yeah. 
my vampire lords. Good lord. Oh, 247 skeletons! I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I completely forgot. He had like 300 peasants who I wiped out in one blow. And he had 100 halflings. So I got like a solid percent of those came back as skeletons. I completely forgot about that. Ugh. All right. I'm going to save. I'm going to save over this one, and I'm going to go through here, and I might die, because I think Krager might be on the other side of here. Archers to Rangers. Oh. oh, Death Ripple's a good spell. Death Ripple damages all non-undead troops in the battle, so it's useful for a ne necromancer to have. The uh, live equivalent is Holy Word, and there's two levels. There's Death Ripple, and then there's Death Wave, which of course does more damage than Death Ripple, and then there's Holy Word and Holy Shout, which does the opposite. It damages all undead troops in the battle. myself what that password is. Okay. 
monsters. Yay, power the chiz. I don't know, my skeletons might be able to take care of the champions. Champions aren't very good. Bro mummies are gonna die. But at least they cursed the champions. Skeletons, can I reanimate? 125! That's a decent chunk of skeletons if I should. Oh, I should have dispelled the steel skin. Oh, fuck you and your luck. Christ. 
defense is good, but my defense is comparable. I mean, his attack is higher, but only barely. I don't understand why I'm not doing better. My vampire lords. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to get a ton of skeletons back once I win this battle. About to lose this castle too. God, he's got the fucking lightning helmet. God damn it. That was a waste of magic. Thank <laughs> you. 
I lost a bunch of power liches too. Oh my god. Uh, that stupid week of the plague. If I had had that week of the pl if that had week if that week hadn't been a week of the plague, I would have done much better in that battle. I swear. Anti-magic, that's a great spell. didn't fill up on magic. Is there a well? There's a well around here somewhere. I thought. Damn it. Meanwhile, he could... Where is there a well? Or... Of course, he gets Archer Growth plus five. I get Week of the Plague. Several few. Oh dear.
afraid to leave my castle because he might come through the gate. I don't think I can kill him. Well, there's the well. I mean, there's a wall around here somewhere. What spell is this? Oh, but I only have one castle. It's stupid. Alright, um... Gene Drake's gonna suck, so... Okay, so Yellow is in the northeast corner, and he's trapped by something, because 
Oh my god, Green's got... It looks like Green's got one... One, two... Three, four... Four castles on the eastern continent. Oh my god, no wonder... No wonder Green's being so difficult. Fence fort down here. That was stupid.
Oh my god. I can't... Crusaders do fucking double damage versus the undead. I go up this way, he probably will. No, no, he's leaving me alone for the moment. But maybe he's just charging, getting at more creatures. Didn't I start with seven dragons? Can I cure? Four skeletons. All right. Four 
course there's nothing here. Oh, there's 22 rangers and 15 fish and pikemen, though. Take that. Spellcaster. I will go claim this gold mine. We have way too much movement, sir. I forgot to claim the sulfur mine like a dolt. Oh well. How am I gonna kill 37 crusaders? Oh, I just gotta kill as many archers. The only thing I, I really care about here is killing as many archers as I possibly can. Stopping 37 Crusaders. Oh my god. Not with what I've got. Oh, this map. Everything. I need one crystal and five sulfur. Alright. 
sulfur. Another five spells. I mean, fuck. A completely useless level five spell for me. God damn it. Jerk. Okay, this is Fuck you. Okay, he's only got four crusaders. This is doable. Five skeletons is a nice chunk of skeletons. Maybe this will have good spells for me. Good spell. I need, I need eight of everything. Take advantage of some better deals. Lightning! Oh my god! Oh my god, but he's got this fucking lightning helm! Oh, but chain lightning at home. Oh, I forgot to get defense.
my god. He's afraid of me. Thank, thank goodness gracious. Oh my god. How strong are you? You have a horde of halfling in your path. Oh, I can go fucking murder Ambrose. Yeah, you better run, Sir Gallant. Holy crap, 102 Master Swordsmen? as it happens as we can't. No, 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 actually, no. For your service, elves. This is Ambrose, right?
All the fox joined him? That's bullshit. God damn it. Alright, these other heroes... Really, I'm only afraid of... Oh, that's Gwyneth. Gwyneth used to belong to me, I think. Where the hell did Sir Gallant go? There's Sir Gallant. Alright, he's kind of far away. So, uh... Yeah, let's go kill Gwyneth. Get some more skeletons out of her. Triple plus five, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Actually, Sir Gallant might come through the gate now that I think about it. He's really close to that. I you especially on day one of the week Fifteen skeletons, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And where's Sir Gallant? That's Hector. I didn't say lots of oh mother okay. Great. Ambrose. He's a 
good hero, actually. Might be worth it. Oh, I don't really have to do She's only, like, level 2, right? She's only level 1. So, yeah. We should definitely recruit Ambrose. I think I will. Because I have the gold for it. Buy the mutant zombies. Save here. I'm going to recruit Ambrose. It's better than green getting Ambrose. Oh shit, Sir Gallant. Oh my god, he's even... Oh, he... Ector gave a bunch of crusaders to Sir Gallant. I need to blind him right off the bat, I think. <laughs> Two crusaders? Are you kidding me? His defense is nine. My attack is 14. I should... I don't understand why I don't do much damage to him at all.
Oh, hey, Artemis. This game is Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Uh, it's technically the Heroes of Might and Magic 2 expansion known as Price of Loyalty. Uh, but you can buy the base game plus the... the ex you can buy the base game plus the expansion on good old games. So this version of it is called Heroes of Might and Magic 2 Gold. The fucker had resurrect. True, probably. I just cannot... I cannot deal with the Crusaders because they do double damage versus the undead. It's so unfair. What was what is what's even what was even his spell power? Like how does he have enough power to like resurrect that uh, So frustrating. With these mines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Um, another really good one is Age of Wonders. I'm a big fan of that one as well. But yeah, this game, this game's a lot of fun. But it can be frustrating sometimes. that making his way north? Okay, that's Ector. I can kill Ector. I cannot kill Sir Gallant. Oh, I lost Ambrose, damn it. Oh, she's level 13. She's even better than Ambrose. Holy fuck. What level are you, Rox? Oh, you're Darlana? I thought you were Roxanne. Uh, basically it's, it's typically just kill everyone on the map, conquer all your opponents. Um, I'm doing the campaigns for this game. This is the last campaign. Uh, and, uh, basically the, the story was, um, I was in a race to collect these artifacts. There's a third artifact that I'm looking for, but, like, this breastplate and this helmet were were the goals and like there was a traitor named Krager who is actually on this map and I have to kill. I think if I kill Krager I win so I technically don't have to conquer green but um of leaving my castle, but... Uh, I gotta do something. I gotta kill Hector. I gotta... I can't believe Sir Gallant had enough spell power for that big resurrect. Ugh, knights aren't supposed to have good spell power, damn it. I wish I could kill you so you could become skeletons. It'd be so much better if you were skeletons. 
Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of this soundtrack. Yeah, this is a great soundtrack. They're building up all those crusaders. Okay. Death to Hector. Adding your 93 rangers to my skeleton collection. Sixty skeletons, nice. All right. Gold uh, mine is important. Leave you here. Need you up at the night castle, Gwyneth. Skeletons are really... The skeletons and the vampire lords are my only saving grace. <sighs> the, because the necromancy skill allows me to create skeletons after a battle. Like the corpses of the, of the fallen in battle become my skeleton. Like a portion of the, of the fallen in battle become skeletons. That, and then that's really the only... Oh, but, oh, he's got so many crusaders, it's insane. Is there anything to buy here? No, only peasants. Peasants are the worst unit in the game. They're... I don't buy them just so there's something here. <laughs> yeah. Necromancers, they have a hard time starting out, I find, in this game. And for that reason, they're like, they're really weak in the early game. Extremely weak. And, and for that reason, I don't like playing as the Necromancer in this game. They're like, it's my least favorite faction. But if you, if you get to the mid game, Skeletons and Vampire Lords are so good. Uh, they really are amazing. Because uh, Vampire Lords can actually resurrect themselves in battle, which is 
fucking fantastic. And then, if you win a battle, then you gain skeletons. Uh, a, a percentage of the fallen become skeletons that just make your army, and you can get an insane amount of skeletons that way. Forgetting to use this idol. This idol grants you luck in your very next battle. For one battle only, though. So you have to keep visiting it. Is that Sir Gallant? I bet that's Sir Gallant. No, it's Ector. I can, I can fucking wreck Ector. There's a dead man, and I will add his army to my skeleton collection. Vampire sounds different for that type of character. I dig it. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, I should, uh, um... So, uh, some units in this game are upgradable. So, uh, like, the mansion is upgradable. The regular vampires do not resurrect themselves in battle, but vampire lords, the upgraded vampires, do resurrect themselves in battle. Uh, and you can tell the difference because vampire lords have a yellow cape, whereas regular vampires have a red cape. that sorceress. Oh, she's pretty strong, actually. Oh. It was nice knowing you, Zam. You're gonna die. I get Zam and Zom mixed up, but Zom looks like a zombie. Oh, fuck! There's a... F oh, shoot. I'm gonna lose all these creatures to that freaking sorceress. Power liches, yeah. I don't want her to get the power liches. This is not gonna be enough to fight her, though. Um. So, well, the heroes. Heroes have a class. So, like, necrom. There's six classes. There's, I mean, six. Uh, like, so there's necromancer. This is a knight castle, who, and you generally recruit knight heroes in a knight castle, so there's... The, the hero type goes with the, the, the castle type. Um, and the castle type definitely have slightly different play styles. Like, uh, knights and barbarian creatures are cheap, but plentiful. You know? Um, uh, yeah, and the... Um, so, for instance, the Knight Castle has has uh, has champ has crusaders, champions. Champions are really fast because they're on a horse. Uh, and then swordsmen, master swordsmen, veteran pikemen. These are all upgraded. Uh, everything can be upgraded in the Knight Castle except the peasants. Uh, and then archers become rangers. But uh, so yeah, I mean the knights, the knight, the knight, all but. So, uh, so the knight, cre the knight ca faction, all their units are ground pounders, which is a little bit of a weakness because you want archers and flying units are really good in this game. So, uh, but knights only have one ranged unit, and that's these guys. But they're good, they're good, but they're like they're the only ranged unit, so that can be a problem sometimes. Barbarians have two different ranged units, so they're slightly they're more fun to me than than, than the knight. Because of because of that, but neither the knight nor the barbarian have any flying creatures, and flying creatures are really good, like because the, they can they can they can cross the bat they can cross the battle map in one turn and attack whoever they want. Whereas uh, the ground pounders are limited by their speed, 
The champions are extremely fast. They're tied for the fastest unit in the game. So that kind of is like a flying unit, but they're not as good as flying units. But uh, ranged units are where it's at because they can attack without being retaliated against. Um, my favorite faction are the barbarians, but the they're, uh, but the spellcasters are generally stronger than the than the than the might faction. So you've got four. You've got four uh, spellcasters. There's here. Uh, there's sorceresses, necromancers, wizards, and warlocks. And wizards and warlocks are like the two most powerful because they have the like the best and second best units in the game. They're they're level six creatures are extremely powerful um and then like you've got like the lesser spellcasters the necromancer and the and the, and the sorceresses and and the the way the the way the like the the manual describes it is uh barbarians and knights are strong in the early game because their units are cheap and they're and cheap and plentiful so they're best on small maps uh and then Sorceresses and necromancers are best on medium-sized maps, and then um, wizards and warlocks are best on big maps because they have that gives them time to develop their uh, black dragons or titans. No, yeah, you don't. Yeah, if you, yeah, wizards and warlocks are really strong in this game because the wizard, the best wizard creature is the giant, which can be upgraded to the titan. And when you upgrade the giant to the titan, it becomes a ranged unit, and it's the best ranged unit in the game. And then uh, warlocks get dragons. They start off as green dragons, and you can upgrade them to red dragons, and then red dragons get upgraded into black dragons. And black dragons fly and are the best unit in the game. They're just... and yeah, so... And some... and um, also some, some units have uh, special abilities, like the crusader can attack twice... Uh, vampires and vampire lords cannot be retaliated against. So when you, like, normally when you attack, uh, in battle when you, like, you attack a creature, they get one retaliatory strike per round, but vampire lords and vampires cannot be retaliated against. And there's, like, several units with that ability, um, like the, the, the sprite, which is the level one sorceress unit, has, they cannot be retaliated against either. But yeah, some units attack twice... Uh, Crusaders attack twice and do double damage versus the undead, which is why they're giving me such a headache right now. Wow, she didn't attack me. That's amazing. I thought sure she was gonna attack my castle, and Zam was, was done for. Liches? Liches are funny because, um. So these are Liches, and they're the only ranged unit in the Necromancer faction uh, but necromancers have two flying units they have vampires which fly and bone dragons which also fly so it doesn't really matter that they like so that, that's a, I mean that's fine but the annoying thing about necromancer or not necromancers the annoying thing about liches is their attack damages all adjacent hexes because the battle the battle the battle map is divided up into hexes it's it's yeah it's, it's hexagonal or whatever and uh, it the so the lich attack damages the, the 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 hex that you target and all adjacent hexes and that sounds good but in practice you end up damaging your units a lot of the time so i really don't like liches as units because because they because the, their stupid special makes them hard to hard to attack with i'm gonna save up my money for now
this is my favorite song, one of my favorite songs in the whole game. Back when I was a kid and playing this game, <laughs> yeah, back when I was a kid and playing this game, um, the first computer I played this game on, uh, it couldn't handle the opera music, so you had to do MIDI. And if you'll notice, well, actually, so if I go in here, is it going to play? I guess it's not. Oh, yeah, okay, here. So, this is the night MIDI, and it's different from the night opera. Now, the night opera is actually the barbarian MIDI. So, when I was first playing this game, I only played with MIDI, and the barbarian song was really good. It was one of my favorite songs in the whole game. And then when I got a, a computer big enough, bet good enough to handle the opera, I was like all excited to hear the Barbarian Opera, but they changed the songs! So the Barbarian MIDI went to the Night Castle, and it made me so sad because the Barbarian the Barbarian faction was my favorite. Actually, you know what? I just realized because in the expansion they changed the songs again, and I just realized that that Night MIDI was the expansion song in MIDI form, not the original song in MIDI form. So I'm going to change it back to opera. All right. Uh, is there anything you can do for the moment? No, not really. No, okay. Add your strength to mine, sorceress. We appreciate it, actually. This is gonna be a bloody battle. Uh, cast chain lightning. The question is... Yeah, yeah. Hey, 40 skeletons, all right. of what you got.
that power lift back. Thank you very much. Eighty-five skeletons. Forty-two rangers. Wow. Why would you leave forty-two rangers unbought? Makes no sense. second best hero, and I need her at the front line. I'll take this gold mine. In the meantime, learn the spell here. Yeah, you've got to deliver your troops to uh, Darlana. Good. Oh, really? I swear that I did. I swear that I changed the stream info, but thanks for the... I don't know how that uh, didn't update. Oh, well. Did it? How does it look now? Because... How does it... Is it still say unlisted? Or is it... it it's in the drop-down. It's definitely in the drop-down, but, uh... They used to allow me to select, um... Price of Loyalty specifically, but they got rid of that, and they, the only thing they allow me to choose now is Heroes of Might and Magic 2 Gold. Which I guess makes sense, because this is the, the gold version available on goodoldgames.com. Uh... Oh, sorry, I need to learn that spell. Who's this? Is this Sir Gallant? No, it's Ruby. F you, Ruby. It's a lot of Crusaders, though, but I can take you, definitely. I wonder if it would be better...
20 skeletons. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, like, it's in the drop down. It's in the drop down, but Heroes Gold. It's in the drop down, but there's no icon for it. It's just a little controller icon. And I don't know why it's not updating, but it's definitely should be, it should, it definitely should say Heroes of Might and Magic 2 Gold. I don't know why. <laughs> I, yeah. You need to go to the well now. Shit. Here's Sir Gallant, and I'm fucked. got the stupid lightning helm which has damage from which he so he takes less damage from lightning spells than how do I fucking kill him oh. <laughs> could be could be already oh I can kill you You know what? Shit. <sighs> yeah, Crusaders just absolutely demolish the undead. They do double damage versus the undead. Vampire Lords do I get back? Only 12. Fuck. And I just killed 8 of them myself. Stupid fucking liches! Uh. The numbers are how much damage is dealt. This 
is bullshit. Oh my god. No, I think I think what you're seeing is the Crusader did more damage to the skeletons because skeletons have a lower defense. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> I missed your little conversation about wild boars. Yeah, I've heard nasty things about boars. Sure they do, Artemis. I'm sure they do.
need to flee. Ugh. I killed 54 Crusaders? I only killed like 30 because of... Oh! He doesn't have Resurrect True! He only has Resurrect! Oh my god. So I wonder how many... I wonder how many... I need to know how many Crusaders he has. Those Crusaders did not... If I'm right, then those Crusaders did not actually come out of the battle with him. They, they disappear. So I need to find out how many Crusaders he has. Because if he only has like 30 Crusaders, I might be able to kill him now. You guys are talking about Final Fantasy. I'll leave you to it. Of course, I've got no creatures. Run away, Zim! didn't have resurrect true he only had resurrect 28 is oh my god okay i've got to be careful not to lose gwyneth here though oh she's got great spells what's her spell power oh, her spell power is terrible unfortunately guys. Wait, that was stupid because he's got steel skin. It kind of just. I should have just, just dispelled the steel skin. Oh well. Not everyone dies. should make sure everything here is bought up. Get a hero, uh, get, get Thundax, because I don't want Gwyneth to die. She's very strong. I wish I could convert those peasants into skeletons. Um, what are you guys talking about? Okay. Also, just make the ugliest bread I've ever seen. 
but I hope it tastes good. Bread can be tedious. I've never done it by myself. I love to eat bread. I've never really baked bread. Uh... <laughs> uh... Oh, I should... Don't forget to buy spell books for your uh, barbarians and knight guys. It's very important. You're really low. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have gotten formation. Oh, that was stupid. Peasants are so bad. <laughs> I lost 800 skeletons, guys. of the Paladin? Are you fucking kidding me? But I think he's all been upgraded to Crusaders, so I don't... Hopefully he won't get that bonus. But I don't know. I've never been clear if that bonus affects the upgraded or non-upgraded version of the unit. Oh, my beautiful vampire lords. Uh, I don't think I should have continued after... that once, you know. Don't have anything. Oh, I should... She... <laughs> yeah. 
these guys are upgraded, and once they're upgraded, they become Crusaders, but uh, their unupgraded form is called Paladin, and they have silver armor instead of gold and a red cape. I cannot have my undead army fight Sir Gallant. He's too strong. I need to raise an army of night creatures to face him. Try something. What about regular heroes of might and magic? Heroes of might and magic. So weird. Well, oh well. I'll figure it out later. It's almost time to end the stream. Uh, I don't know if I. How strong is Gwyneth? She's got.
Actually, you know what? No one's been... Is she? Oh, she's already been there. Okay. Let me... Leave you. No, I should... I should leave. They're slow. Let me go here, see how many water elementals I can buy if it's worth it. Day six. Seven. Eight. I don't, can I get them all? Yeah. I guess it's better than letting my opponent have them, right? I need troops like I need air. Who are you? Several few packs, several lots. Okay, Vesper. Ah, oh, you, you used to work for me, Vesper. Oh well. Traitor. I did let you, uh, lose in battle, I guess. me an idea. Although, I would have to lose my army all over again for the idea to... Horde of Master Swordsmen. Oh, you're not who I want. I need to build up my army of skeletons again.
Yeah, they are. They're pretty cool. You know what I should do? Because I think I'm gonna win this. Uh, where did the skeletons die? That's vampire lords, bone dragons, power liches. Where did my skeletons die? Skeletons, where are you? Fine, I guess I'll resurrect the vampire lords. Oh, the master swordsman's on top of the skeletons, that's why. three skeletons though but so that was like a net gain of seven. Oh no mm. <laughs> I suppose so Artemis I suppose so What do you think, guys? Should I save here after losing my, my good army? Or should I go back in time and do things differently? It's a, it's a hard choice. I did severely weaken Sir Gallant. He's only got like... He's got like... Although... He's only got like... 20, but he'll, he'll, he'll build back up is the problem.
don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough call. I want to convert you to skeletons so badly. Uh, in Age of Wonders, if you dismiss a unit, they become neutral, and they they remain on the map, and so you they can they they become neutral. So in Age of Wonders, I could actually convert them to skeletons if they had that. If they had the same mechanic that they have in this game. Yeah, I did kill 40-some-odd Crusaders. That's not nothing. He's not nearly as strong as he once was. And I've got a really good hero who I cannot lose. Absolutely cannot lose. I've actually got two good heroes. She's really good, too. And once she builds up an army, she'll be pretty good as well. So I, I think we'll stick with it for now. Um, but I'll do it on a different save file. I'll save it this stream, too. It's time for me to end the stream now, guys. Thanks for watching. Well, that's the thing, though. Like, we both kind of... Well, I don't know. You have a point, though. Like, he's, he's weak, too. That's the important thing. And I've got good spells... I think I can deal with him with the spells and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll pick this up next week. I forgot. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna raid somebody. Slay the Spire. I think, is SUJ playing Brood War? Let me check out what S2J is playing right now. We might just raid S2J. S2J, yeah, Falcon. Grab Taco Bell's Nachos Party Pack whenever you're dressing up to stay in or witnessing a miracle. What is he? With delicious nachos topped with all your favorites. Oh no, he's Party Pack. he's streaming Bell. Slay the Spire. Is that a game or is he playing Brood War? Oh, he's not playing Brood War. Never mind. He's playing some game I've never heard of called Slay the Spire. Um, alright. Artosis is playing Brood War, but... Artosis has got 940 people, whereas S2J only has 55. Uh... Or BTS. No, they're, they're streaming Ultimate. I don't want to raid them. Do you guys have any, uh, suggestions on who to raid? If only Simna were here. He always has he, he always has good suggestions on who to raid. I need to follow more people. Uh Uh we'll raid S2J. Oops, that's not that's we'll raid S2J. I want you guys to say drop the hammer on them S2J. Because even though he's not playing Brood War. We'll... Alright, here we go. Here we go! <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go! My Mario impression is terrible. Woo!
Hopefully, Brood War soon. My hit, my wrist hurts. It's hurting. The card that gives me minus one. Yep. I could have done that, uh. Like, pick Rupture and then that card. Barrier, strong choice. Probably just playing barrier into call this spot. Robert says he's bash. He's gonna kill me if he's bash. I, I, I'm gonna die. I could see what I have here, but my hands. Hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today it's going to be a match between Idra and Draco here on Coliseum. Bottom left hand corner is the Teal Terran player Idra, and in the bottom right it is the Polish Perotas player Draco. All right, so TVP here from BWReplays.com. Very, Very excited, excited for this, this one. Idra, one of the best American players in the scene back in 2009, which, which is when this replay was played, and Draco, probably the best Polish player from this era of StarCraft, according to his Liquipedia page. Mm. All right, so bottom right spawn versus bottom left spawn. Coliseum is a very weird map, but a lot of games were played on it back in the day, but not... Uh, in the current day because it's so very, very weird. And SCV scouting here, you're probably wondering what this creep is. There's a sunken colony here that doesn't interact with anything uh, just to make sure that you can't be cannon rushed here because if you get cannon rushed here, especially as a Zerg player, it is very hard to break. And sometimes in ZVZ, your opponent will put a creep colony here and turn it into a sunken colony and that's kind of hard to deal with as well. But not as hard to deal with as a cannon rush, that is for sure. Okay, so no proxies here, no cannon rushing, because that is a gateway here from Draco. Scout the wrong way, but that's gonna be just fine. And nothing too crazy, man. I think things are good here. I think everything's kosher. Idra hasn't been mad at anything yet, but I mean, we're a minute and 45 seconds into this match. I really don't necessarily see how that would be the case. There would something crazy, or there would be something crazy happening, but that's okay. 
not all matches can be super fast. Uh, the cheese, right? The cheese is the fast stuff. And I really need to get in there and maybe do another cheese compilation one of these days. I've had some requests in the comments. And just so you know, I do read every comment anybody ever makes on the channel. So if you want to get my attention, that's a pretty decent way to get me to talk to you. The other way is to join the Discord server. There's a link in the description. Or, I don't know, if you just search Falcon Paladin Discord on the Google machine, it'll pull up an invite there, too. I have a never-expiring invite out there floating among the waves of the Internet that I put out there, like, two or three years ago. The Google Discord server, there's a link in the description. Or, I don't know, if you just search Falcon Paladin Discord on the Google machine, it'll pull up an invite there, too. I have a never-expiring invite out there floating among the waves of the Internet that I put out there, like, two or three years ago. Maybe, Maybe just, just two. two. And I think they tell, tell you not to do that, that, but I really don't see the downside. So it hasn't hurt me yet, anyway. Regardless, two gate opening here. No expansion quite yet, which I believe the SCV is aware of. At least he went up. Yeah, he checked for a Nexus here and didn't see it. Uh, technically, there could be an expansion up here for. I mean, it'd be a weird place to take a Nexus, but. You never know. But I guess the second gateway is an indication that, in fact. There's not a Nexus anywhere. Checking for hidden tech, hidden pylons in the top right here. I love this probe overwatch spot. He's just hanging out. It's like, yes, I see everything. I see your factory. I see you got a barracks you're not producing many units out of. But I mean, honestly, what else is this going to be? You could open with a lot of Marines. You can get a nice little bio timing open here in TVP, but it's, I don't know, not super popular and not much of a thing that I've seen in my casting experience, but I tend to cast the longer games anyway. So if a Terran player happens to win in the first seven minutes with a bio push, then I probably didn't cast it. Kind of sits in that weird medium spot where it's not short enough for cheese and it's not long enough for me to cast it as a regular daily cast here on the channel. So if that's a thing, you're not really gonna see it here. All right, choices for Terran. What do we do first? Well, siege mode and a siege tank, okie doke. Factory going right for the Siege Tank play. Got ourselves these Dragoons pushing out. They know what they're dealing with here. It's going to be a single Marine behind a wall. There's not a bunker. There are no additional Marines either. This could be really problematic for Idra all of a sudden. Uh, singularity Charge is almost done. I mean, that's what this one base opener lets you do. You get range out really fast. Like, all right, we're on a timer here. We're going to try to kill as many supply depots as possible before the Siege Tank with Siege Boat shows up. Ah, oh, jumping on those SCVs. Oh, repairing the SCV. Nice. Re oh, then he just comes up on the high ground. Oh my gosh, that's brutal. Get you got to get over here though. Maybe I don't know. Ah, oh, it's such a good spot. But then he abandons it. He abandons the spot. Okay, strange, but all right. We can we can work with this, I guess. There's your siege mode, and now the dragoons kind of have to get out of here. All right, so that went pretty well for Idra. I don't think he lost a single SCV. He didn't lose his supply depot. He didn't lose a tank. He's got an expansion up before the Protoss player does. So I think he feels pretty good about this, honestly. He's gonna mech it. And as we've seen, the way you beat mech, although that's a pretty fast engineering bay, and no second factory yet. I might be speaking out of turn here, but I'm assuming Idra's going mech. And the way that you defeat mech is you out expand it and you make a lot of trades that maybe aren't in your favor but you have more money and you have more bases, you can afford them. That's exactly what we've been seeing in the Protoss versus Terran wins on the channel forever. That's how this works. So, wow, okay, that's a really fast Stargate from Draco. Like, either he, mm, uh, okay, yeah. So, like, either he's, he's going super fast carrier off of two base, or that's some kind of a weird scout play. Which wouldn't be too bad, except for the fact that turrets are coming up. It's like he smelled it. He's like, all right, I feel like this is going to be a Stargate play. Get some turrets up, you know, in case a Corsair or a Scout shows up. This timing is so weird to me. Is it just to get rid of observers? I don't know what else he could be building missile turrets for. That dude, a six-minute fleet beacon. You crazy. You're a crazy person. Draco, the Polish Protoss player. Triple P going for it right now. And Idra, he doesn't know, right? That is really well located. If you're going to scan, you're going to scan here. 
You're gonna scan here. Maybe you're gonna scan up here. Oh, see, there's a scan. Oh, he got it. He got the Stargate with a second scan. But he doesn't know about the fleet beacon. Mm. So what's he gonna do? Honestly, Goliath's in production. Love that stuff. Maybe Caron boost like now would be great. There's no other reason for there to be a Stargate this early, right? Triple Puppet Factory is going for plus one attack. Dude, our first carrier is in production at seven minutes and 15 seconds. That is a super, super fast carrier build, man. And I love that Draco has a ground army. He's not just like, boy, I sure hope my carriers can win. And I sure hope the Terran player doesn't show up with ground forces and kill me before the carriers arrive. No, he's got some dragoons. It's a smart build. And um, it's, it's siege tanks. I don't. Idra! Oh, maybe he assumes it's an Arbiter. Oh my gosh, what if he thinks it's a fast Arbiter play? And that's what the turrets are for. Killing Arbiters that are coming in to kill him. Again, early! Early on those turrets, if that's what he's worried about. But I don't think he smells carriers here at all. He's making vultures, spider mines, vehicle weapons, more tanks in production. Carrier capacity is getting researched from Draco. Uh, Idra, buddy. This um, might not go particularly well for you. Next time I hear a scan, I'm going to try to get up there and show us Idra's vision. Okay, so now Charon boosters are on the way. And he's making two Goliaths. And a tank and a vulture. That, that could, could still just, just be enough Goliaths to handle Arbiters, right? Dude, this carrier's like, I got this. <laughs> we, uh, we're we fine. We're going to move across the map here and win real fast here at eight minutes. That is a lot of tanks and vultures, though. He's making three Goliaths at a time. So one of these scans, I think he must have caught this fleet beacon, because otherwise I don't know what he's doing. So he sees what's up. He recognizes this is carriers. I am making three Goliaths at a time. I'm getting Caron boost. I think he saw the carrier poke its head in here. Still getting vulture speed. Like, I don't. I guess there could be some zealots for you to handle, but I guess the speed is easier, makes it easier to lay mines and get rid of these dragoons, but all right, big time hit. Good sound is what it is. That's a lot of tanks, man. Okay, well, the dragoons have decided we're engaging with this, even though there are a bajillion tanks. And then they back out because there are six more tanks back here to worry about. Continue retreating, thanks. Plus one attack there on the siege tanks. Not working on any further upgrades here at the moment. Third base getting set up for by Draco. And I assume we're getting a third base out of Idra, but two base push feels like a two base push. Zealots in production, but again, the vulture count pretty high. I mean, Idra seems prepared for everything right now. Got the carriers, got tanks. Spider mines are out, vultures cruising around. Oh, that's not a wall. <laughs> okay, so probe deaths for one vulture seems like a pretty fair trade, honestly. But the low ground siege tanks with the Goliaths providing high ground vision is just brutal. It is an absolutely brutal, brutal play. All right, well, the carriers are like, well, if the Goliaths are all over here, We'll come over this way, you know, all three of us carriers. Yeah, the Goliaths show up, getting big time body hits here. I mean, yeah, the carriers really have to get out and they do. Oh, that tank. I'm not sure what he was doing, but Idra kind of left him out to dry there, unfortunately. So now Idra has the high ground. And as Obi-Wan would say, don't try it, Anakin. Don't try it, Draco. I have the high ground. But you know, it's kind of going well. 
got a save here for Draco. He does shove Idra off that top way. One twenty-one to eighty-eight total supply. Draco has a lead, but again, you'll want a lead if you're playing against the Mechan Terran. If you don't have it, you're in a pretty bad spot. Still carriers in production here, but again, it's not mass carrier. Ooh, a shield battery. A shield battery. And they're trying to set up over here, but man, the carriers are just. In the right place, at the right time. Goodbye, SCVs. We knew thee well. And Idra is still trying to crack this nut. Trying to get in here. It's just going into a choke is real dangerous. No matter what race you are, you really don't want to be doing that. Because you have this big, wide area to handle that sort of a thing if you're the defender. spider man getting picked off right now. Draco at 260 supply, Idra at 320. Idra looking okay, man. He's like... spider Mine's getting some hits on these Zealots. Oh, Friendly Fire spider Mine hit. Never good. Zealots really focusing the Goliaths, though. Whoa! Suddenly, the Goliaths are retreating. The tanks are gone. Another round of Zealots shows up. And it's 129 to 83 supply. Dude, Draco won that engagement pretty handily. <laughs> And there's Idra coming through. You're really good at making carriers. Thanks, says Draco. It's a very useful talent to have, says Idra. And Idra's out. No GG for you. <laughs> Draco's your winner. I mean, Rage quit. Yes, Rage quit a little bit early on the quit there. I know Edgar lost most of his army, and yes, Draco's on three bases, but even being on three bases against a Mechan Terran doesn't mean it's a guaranteed win. Like, Edgar had some ability to get stuff done here. The carrier control by Draco was great. Like, let's not take anything away from him. I don't think he lost a carrier today, though, which is fantastic. And what's funny about Edgar's comment is that, you know, Draco made other stuff. He obviously had Zealots and Dragoons that were a massive part of that final engagement. Big, big part, part of the whole game, game actually. actually. And without, without those, the carriers all just die. I mean, the Goliath count was heavy for sure, and you need this to thin that out. And that's exactly what Draco did. Draco, 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 Draco. Incredible. Incredibly, incredibly, incredibly fun play there. Idra coming through in the clutch with the rage quit today for your Brood War cast. I know it's a little bit shorter, but... I think everybody needs a little bit of Idra rage in their life from time to time. Yeah, 13 minutes. 1337 actually. That was elite game time. 66,000 points for Draco, 51,000 for Idra. Ended up producing fewer units than the Protoss, killing about the same and losing more, which is never good. In the long run, constructing and killed Idra, killing five buildings, never losing a building, which is not bad, but lost the war. And then resources here, same amount of gas mined, minerals mined, more for Draco and more spent for Draco. Never really got that third base up, so that's just him having a better economy, I think, overall than Idra did, which I think helped a lot in this game. So I know it's a bit shorter than you're probably expecting, but great, like, really, really fun stuff there. So um, that right there is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Starcraft Brood War Remastered and an Idra game. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you liked what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.
damage, right? Oh, it gives you a couple of damage, too. I forgot about that.